Good afternoon, Lebanon area seniors. Rebecca here at the Lebanon Senior Center again, bringing you another cooking demo. Uh, this is continuation of our series of if you can't stand the heat. Um, of course, cooking in the summer can be hard because you don't want to add any extra heat. And man, have we had some hot days the last uh, week. Man, it started on the weekend with those 100 degree days. It's cooled off a little bit, but then we got the humidity. Oh, it's just nasty. So last thing you want to do is uh, probably stand in a hot kitchen slaving over a stove. Some of you are giggling and thinking, I never like to stand over a stove and slave away. That's okay. So you can use this during the hot summer months or any time of year. Might be a fun salad to take to a gathering of friends. Um, of course, right now, safely socially distanced and everyone wearing masks. How do you wear a mask and eat? Well, you got to step away, I guess. So today we are bringing to you a bacon shrimp tortellini pasta salad. Kind of a mouthful in saying it and in eating it. Um, I did a version last night to test it out. I'm not a big seafood person, as you've heard me say before, so I left the shrimp out and I added in some leftover grilled steak instead, used up some of those leftovers from the weekend, and uh, it was pretty darn tasty, I can tell you, with the steak in there. So. I'm just going to assume that the shrimp are nice also. And I know you might already be asking, Rebecca, if you're using pasta, you've got to cook the pasta. That's boiling water. That's adding more humidity. Relax. I've got your back. Okay. So um, the important thing to do is to get your pasta out of the deli section of the grocery store. They have fresh pasta over there um, that's really fast to cook. And um, I'm going to give you a couple of cheater things for this particular recipe and for cooking pasta dishes um, that I have found out recently and I'm in love with some of these tips. Okay, so I used a Reina Cheese Lovers uh, tortellini for my pasta and it says to use eight ounces. Um, I got the family size bag because we're family size around here at the Senior Center. It's all about the family, right? Can't do a cooking demo with people around and not feed them. Um, so I did get the larger package, um, so just keep that in mind. They do have a smaller bag. Works just This tip will work the same no matter the size. So my pasta is actually already cooked. I'll put my empty bag over there. What uh, the cheap trick is that I learned recently, and this had to do with a crock pot pasta recipe. I didn't think you could cook pasta in a crock pot and not have it turn into a gigantic lump sum. Um, but somebody gave me this tip and I thought I'd try it out today with this recipe and it worked. So when I poured the pasta out of the bag into this bowl, I went ahead and I coated it with a couple of drizzles of extra virgin olive oil and just stirred it around and washed my hands real well because of course I was getting an olive oil treatment on my hands while I was doing that. Um, after they're coated and after you got those hands washed so you don't drop the bowl when you pick it up. Go ahead and fill the bowl up with water. Um, I did about an inch from the top of the bowl, kind of whatever you're comfortable with. You want to make sure your pasta is covered and it has room to float around in there. Um, so then you take that bowl and you stick it in the microwave. Yep, you heard me right. I said the microwave. Stick the little pasta in the microwave. Um, the large bag, I like it at about six minutes done this, but you can go a little shorter and, and check on the pasta until you get to the doneness you like. Um, or maybe add another minute or two on, whatever your preference is. For the tortellini, they shall be floating. You know, when you're cooking tortellini on the stove, as soon as they start to float, you know, they're done. It should be al dente. Just kind of do the same thing in the microwave. Because the pasta really is ready to go, you're just heating it up getting that cheese nice and gooey in the middle. So about six minutes, this pasta was done. Brought it back in here and strained it in the sink to get it out of that water and put it right back in this bowl, okay? So our tortellini's ready to go, our cheese tortellini. And uh, this is yummy and tasty. We're gonna pretend I haven't done that. So if I had just prepared this and had the water in it, it goes to stick it in the microwave. It's going to hang out there for six minutes. While the pasta is hanging out in the microwave for six minutes, we're going to make the dressing. I'm going to make it right in my measuring cup. Got to aim it at myself. All right, we're going to need a fourth of a cup of lemon juice. 
So pardon me while I squeeze the stuffings out of this lemon. I'm not used to using the fourth of a cup, but we're gonna, I feel like I should have gotten a bigger hole for this lemon. Ooh, it's like squeezing a real lemon. You can probably see some of the other flavors that we're gonna have at work here as well. Um, we get to add, of course, the shrimp and the bacon, the best of the bacon shrimp coralini. And you can cook your own bacon if you want to. Um, I happen to like the real bacon bread crumbles. Um, I do insist on using the real bacon, the crunchy bacon bits are I'm not a big fan of. They can hurt the teeth, so it's like eating pebbles or rocks. Alrighty there. Probably can't hardly see that, but there we go. We've got our lemon juice in our measuring cup. A fourth of a cup of that. Two and a half tablespoons, there we go, of that olive oil. <laughs> Good stuff there. And a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. If you don't have red wine, if you've got balsamic, you probably use that instead, but I think the red wine is worth the pickup if you happen to enjoy dressings. It's kind of a staple in most cupboards. Right. Something else that's a staple in our house is a container of minced up garlic. And it says two tablespoons of garlic. So I'm chucking some of that in there. I might pour off some of the juice in there too, just to give it a little extra garlic bite. So we've got our lemon juice, our olive oil, our vinegar, our garlic, um, a little salt and pepper to taste. I love it when a recipe is not specific, so I'm going to give it a little shake, shake of pepper. We like it a little peppery around here. And I'm just going to give a dash of salt and let other people put their own salt in the way they like it. All right. Eating off that spoon there a little bit. And then we're going to give it a little whiskey. No, don't add whiskey. Just whisking it. All right. I know you guys too well. You'd be cracking jokes about that comment. All right, just whisking up our little dressing here. It's looking really good. All right, it's looking tasty. All right, so I'm going to set that off to the side for just a minute. And we're going to bring the pasta. Beep, beep, beep. Pasta's on the microwave. You drain the pasta. Now we're back to the pasta, what we're adding into it. So we are going to go ahead and, um, if, for the love of Mike, if you can get your hands on bigger shrimp, get your hands on bigger shrimp. I was having a hard time finding some cooked shrimp. If you want to avoid the heat of the kitchen, you need to get the pre-cooked shrimp. Um, I couldn't find any that weren't exorbitant priced or um, that were already cooked. They had a lot that were still raw. But again, if we're doing talking about not getting the house hot, you need the pre-cooked shrimp. So I'm ending up with these little salad shrimps. That's okay. They still taste, you know, taste shrimpy, right? So I'm tossing those in the bowl. And then it said the recipe calls for about three, uh, half a pound of cooked bacon or about three quarters cup of bacon pieces. So yes, I'm eyeballing the bacon. Because, you know, if you have too much bacon, it's okay, right? Right. Oh. Okay, and then we've got a can of sliced black olives. I already opened those up, so I'm going to get those in there. Um, one of the things that called for was some chopped basil. And I looked in the grocery store, and unfortunately, um, I didn't like the look of their basil. It was kind of gross. If you're growing some, this is a good use for basil. You maybe went to farmer's market, got some fresh herbs. Um, you could certainly use dry if you wanted to, but they have these cute um, lightly dried um, herbs that are they're kind of funky looking. So it's chopped and they're partially fresh, partially dry. 
So we're going to put this in here for our basil. And this is found over in the uh, pre-cut up vegetable salad herb area of the grocery store. Mm, and it really smells like basil. Ooh, nice strong smelling basil. And last but not least, some feta cheese. You only need about half the container, but we have some real cheese heads around here. So I'm going to go ahead and dump that sucker in there and make them some happy campers. Again, I also doubled up on the cheese, so this will make it go a little bit further. All right, so I'm just going to do this a little gentle toss. Incorporate all these flavors together. Get everything mixed up in here. Looking good, I hope, for you guys. And again, if you don't like seafood, if you don't like the shrimp, you can certainly um, use some leftover chicken breast or I use leftover steak. Just swap that meat product out. Or if you want to go vegan, some grilled vegetables I think would be really good. Some grilled summer squash with some red bell pepper. Okay. And last but not least, that lovely dressing we made just a few moments ago. Just give that another quick whirl. And over our lovely little pasta salad, it's going to sit. Got to get all of those garlicky, yummy bits in there. Got to join the party. There we go. And another quick toss to get that dressing moved around and playing with all those little tortellini rolls and coating all the shrimp. All right, so there you go. Quick, easy, simple. Didn't have to cook it pasta. So this is bacon shrimp tortellini pasta salad. Might be a mouthful and it looks like a mouthful on the plate as well. So that's what we're serving up today here at the Lebanon Senior Center um, to some very hardworking staff and maintenance crews and maybe even the guys installing some new LED lights around here. I uh, told you, got projects happening. Yeah, so this is what we're having. Recipe's going to be down in the comments and description below. Check it out. Uh, hopefully you enjoy making it and in trying some one more new recipe this summer to keep things interesting amidst all of the, uh, I don't know, I'm going to call it uncertainty. Um, these different times that we're in. Trying new recipes is a fun way to uh, just step out of the comfort zone and have, have a new experience, even if you're staying home. We miss you. We love you. Take care from the Lebanon Senior Center. Manja.